Hello. As you can see, the lights are out. Let's get spooky. So as you saw in my latest video, well, this is my latest video now, but as you saw in my previous video, I am going to be uploading spooky content all month long and I'm excited for that, but I thought what better place to begin than talking about the creepiest Nintendo characters. Because Nintendo is supposed to be a kid-friendly franchise, am I right? <laughs> uh, by the way, I want to first start off by saying go follow my Discord. Follow my Discord. Go join my Discord server if you have not. Uh, there is a link in the description. I have completely changed everything about it. It's a uh, yearly tradition that I completely spookify everything i don't know i just kind of like i like to get festive anyway let's get into the video right off the bat i think everybody can relate to this one is the eel from super mario 64. i personally wasn't like the most scared i wasn't like the most terrified person uh in the world by the eel but it definitely is um a little horrifying to look at next up on the list is actually another M64 character, and that was actually the piano in Big Boo's Haunt. Now, I mean, looking at the piano right off the bat, it's in then, oh, whoa, it just eats you Venus flytrap style. That, that was definitely, especially for those that don't like jump scares, it, it's it's awful. I, I hate it. Um, but again, it's not like the most scariest thing in the world, you know? It's Mario, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> now, this next one is a bit darker. We have the Redead from Ocarina of Time. These things, I think, were a little bit more terrifying in the Wind Waker, just because like they let all this like really piercing scream, and it's it's hard to explain. Like I'll probably um, play a, an audio clip, but my gosh, I can remember playing. I was just like, I don't even want to go in this room <laughs> because they're so terrifying. It's probably the most terrifying character on my list, to be honest with you. Yep. Um, another Zelda character that um, that some people find creepy. I never really found this character creepy, but there are a lot of people that apparently do, and that is Tingle. I don't know. <laughs> um, however, I do think Kilton is a little more on the creepy side than Tingle would be. But that's just me. Moving on to Luigi's Mansion. We have the baby in the nursery. That is true fear. Uh, if you've never played the original Luigi's Mansion before, you walked into the nursery and you uh, saw this rocking horse and whenever you would rock it, the baby would show itself and it would pretty much bring you over to the boss fight. That is so eerie. I, I don't, it, it's always irks me. It's always kind of like creeped me out, but uh, Luigi's Mansion is a creepy game by itself. So I don't know. <laughs> Next up on the list, we actually have a Pokemon. Who <laughs> knew Pokemon could be creepy? Yamask. Yamask is a cute Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. I love Yamask. I actually shiny hunt. It was my very first shiny in the Gala region. It took me over a thousand eggs, but I eventually got it. Uh, but Yamask's Pokedex entry reads, Each of them carries a mask that used to be its face when it was human. Sometimes they look at it and cry. <laughs> That's dark. <laughs> <laughs> that is dark. Now that's all I have to say about Yamask right now, but you may see him in a future video. Moving on to the Hell Valley Sky Trees. Ooh. Uh, a few years back, there was a creepypasta that was started featuring the game Super Mario Galaxy 2. Two. Where in Shiverburn Galaxy, uh, if you were to get to a certain point and then go into like the first person view and then look up and turn around and then look over the mountain you would see these creepy supernatural looking demon figures and no one's really ever figured out the mystery as far as i know but they are mysterious to say the least next up we have the moon the, moon! the literal moon from majora's mask now it's not like the moon itself the facial expression is enough to just like keep you up at night. <laughs> there are, in Zelda, there are a lot of creepy characters, not to mention Ganon and Breath of the Wild sequel, like, Nintendo! 
But yeah, I expect darker characters out of Zelda because pff, Zelda. Uh, that I know I probably moved through this video rather fast, but I mean, it was what else was I gonna do? Write an essay? I don't know. So yeah, let me know if there were any characters I missed or what characters creeped you out whenever you played Nintendo's video game. So I'll see you all in my next video rather soon, actually, because I plan on having consistent uploads this month. Obviously, it's Nintendo. I can't express that enough. So yeah, see you all very soon. So until then, I love you guys. Stay awesome.